Looking back at older generations of gaming, the Wii stood out as a unique platform. It introduced motion gaming to the world and expanded the gaming community to a wider audience, all while securing its place as the best-selling console of its time. Due to its unique architecture, however, the platform often saw unique ports of third-party developer games, for better or for worse. After years of talking with the Nintendo community, I was able to come up with a list of 100 must-play titles for the Wii, broken down into 10 different genres. Today I introduce you to the top 10 RPGs on the Wii. Number 10, Apuna. You may not have heard of Apuna as it was mainly overshadowed by that other game that released on the same day, Mario Galaxy. But this is also a JRPG which targets more of a young audience, so older audiences may not have seen as much appeal in the title. The combat mechanic revolves around Apuna's magic ball which is called a bonbon and is all done in real time. The player flicks the joystick to fling the bonbon to hit enemies making for a unique combat mechanic. As for the story of the game, it's all about making friends and earning different jobs such as tossing sushi at a restaurant. It's a simple charming game with a strong community recommendation. It seems Koei Tecmo also wants you to remember who Apuna is as they included him as a character in Warriors All-Star. Number 9, Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World. Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World was a sequel to the original Tales of Symphonia, which had a large following on the GameCube. Featuring a mix of characters from the original game and some new additions, traditional RPG fans found a lot of joy playing the sequel. Real-time battles were the star of the show, allowing for local co-op play which isn't seen very often in JRPGs. With a beautiful cel-shaded graphic style, Tales of Symphonia was a great RPG for the Wii. Number 8, Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo's Dungeon. Don't let the kid-friendly visuals turn you away from this roguelike RPG, because Chocobo's Dungeon is a title with depth to provide plenty of challenge to any gamer. The game places you in the role of a young Chocobo and sets you out to retrieve the town people's lost memories through dungeons. The battles are turn-based and each action consumes a turn, making players have to consider each move carefully as you can't rely on multiple party members throughout this game. Added upgradable weapons and job systems worthy of the Final Fantasy franchise name, and you got yourself an overall great game worth playing. Number 7, Fragile Dreams Farewell Ruins of the Moon. Fragile Dreams comes with an amazing presentation set in a dystopian future. You play in a time where humanity has almost been wiped out and nature is overgrowing cities. The Wii Mote adds a unique feature by letting players control the flashlight as you explore different areas of the game. The Wii Mote is also used to attack enemies by slashing the controller around, a mechanic whose appeal has long died out. While the combat style may not have aged well, the game is loved for the story it tells and should be given a look by any fan of RPGs that cherish story over gameplay. Number 6, Arc Rise Fantasia. When I first released my top 10 RPG list years ago, one common comment was that I had left out Arc Rise Fantasia from the list. Turns out after some research, Arc Rise Fantasia was a great RPG for the Wii, getting most of its hate from its poor voice acting. So if you can get past that, this is another great title that utilizes turn-based combat. The unique combat mechanic in this game is that the whole team has to share a pool of AP points which are used to attack. So having one character attack with a very strong ability may cause another character to no longer have any AP points to attack with for that turn. You can also chain some attacks to cause team attack combos to trigger. It makes for a turn-based system that has some decent depth and strategy to it. Boy, what's going on here anyway? Number 5, Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. 
Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn did a masterful job of picking up where its predecessor left off with the story of Ike and his companions. The game introduces new characters and wields a fun and exciting combat system guaranteed to make fans of Path of Radiance come back for a second helping. The game continued the franchise's tradition of investing players heavily into its characters, bringing back permakill which, as it sounds, permanently kills a character when they die. As far as strategy RPGs go, you will not find anything better from Nintendo during the Wii's lifetime. It's a title that any and all fans of the genre should check out. Number 4, Super Paper Mario. While not a traditional Paper Mario game, Super Paper Mario does a decent job of combining Mario's RPG style with his signature platforming. While the gameplay doesn't quite live up to the previous two Paper Marios, or Mario platformers for that matter, being able to change the world from 2D to 3D is one of those things that is just inherently fun. The settings are quite unique and seeing where you'll end up next is half the fun. The writing is up there with the rest of the franchise's legacy being both hilarious and surprisingly dark sometimes. If you can get past the game not being the thousand year door, well Super Paper Mario is a solid addition to the Wii's RPG arsenal. Number 3, Monster Hunter Tri. This game was so good that Capcom re-released it on the Wii U under the name Monster Hunter Tri Ultimate with a few add-ons. The major differences include HD graphics on the Wii U and cross-platform support with the 3DS. The game shifts focus from a deep narrative and instead opts for a deep combat and equipment system. You would start off as a novice hunter slaying beasts and using their remains to build custom weapons and armor. As you got stronger you'd target larger enemies, each requiring their own strategy to take down. Unfortunately, the online aspect of the game is now long gone. However, for its addictive and rewarding gameplay and deep combat system, Monster Hunter Tri easily makes it in the top 3 spot on this list. Number 2, The Last Story. Created by the legendary Hironobu Sakaguchi, the man responsible for the Final Fantasy series, The Last Story is a title that does not disappoint. The game pushes the Wii's graphical capabilities to its limits offering beautiful visuals surrounded by a powerful orchestrated soundtrack and a captivating story driven by voice acting. The combat system was unique in that it combines traditional JRPG mechanics with stealth and third person action combat mechanics. The core story will only take you to 20 hours of gameplay, but you used to be able to go online with some friends to fight each other or take on bosses for some additional gameplay. Sadly, that feature is no longer around, but the main story is still worth a run through. Xenoblade Chronicles Xenoblade Chronicles may have originally become famous for Nintendo's reluctance to release it in North America, but the game lived up to the forbidden fruit filled craze. A truly massive game, Xenoblade Chronicles managed to combine a great story with huge open areas to explore. A fast paced battle system and full modern interface fixed almost all the problems associated with JRPGs at the time. Taking everything good about JRPGs and fixing just about all the problems made Xenoblade a true classic. North America missing out on the game would truly have been a tragedy. An easy pick for the best RPG on the Wii and arguably one of the best RPGs in that generation. I'll kill you! And those are my top 10 RPG recommendations for the Wii. We still have 90 more titles to count down so be sure to like the video, subscribe as we return with the Wii 100. See you guys next time.